Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Hey everyone, it's Megan at Colorado Sugar Gliders And today I wanted to do a video on avoiding backyard breeders Now you may ask yourself, what is a backyard breeder? Well, essentially in the sugar glider world, a backyard breeder is anyone who is selling, breeding and selling sugar gliders that are not lineaged. And I will get into the importance of lineage here in just a minute. Uh, but first I want to talk about what lineaged means when it comes to sugar gliders. So there is a national database that has all um, known lineage sugar gliders in it. It's called the Pet Glider Database. And you can go into it and look back and see gliders for generations back, often to as far back as when, you know, the originals were brought over from another country. And it can also determine coefficiency of inbreeding. So if I have two sugar gliders I want to breed, I can put them both, their lineage, I can put them both in the system and it will tell me how closely related they are and if it's a good match or not. Okay, so why is this important? Why is lineage important? Well, for a couple reasons. One, the gene pool with sugar gliders is actually fairly small. So you can have a glider in New York and a glider in Texas and a glider here in Colorado that are all related. In fact, I know of gliders in all those places that are brothers or sisters to each other. So just because you get gliders from across the country does not mean that they are suitable to be bred. So why does it matter if they're inbred, right? People line breed all the time. Well, in some species of animals, line breeding is common. However, in sugar gliders, you have to be really careful because there are a number of health concerns that can arise from inbreeding. So things like uh, gliders being born without eyes, things like that happen, or being born blind, there's a lot higher rate of joey cannibalization and rejection if gliders are inbred. You also see uh, a lot of organ issues that aren't known right away that can lead to shorter lives in gliders. So ensuring that you have gliders that are not inbred is very important. So how do you identify a backyard breeder besides the main fact that they don't have lineage. Well, here's a couple ways you can identify. Somebody who is breeding gliders that they say, well, this pair has lineage, but this doesn't, but it doesn't really matter. No, they really shouldn't be breeding any gliders that don't have lineage. If they're pressuring you to buy their gliders, that can be a sign of backyard breeding or a scam. Any good breeder will not pressure you to buy gliders because they know that gliders are a high maintenance pet and they want what's best for their animals. So they're not gonna pressure you to do something that's not right for you or for the gliders. If individuals are willing to sell single gliders, whether you have another at home or not, oftentimes this is a tactic by backyard breeders. If they don't care about the well-being of the sugar glider or you as a customer, then it doesn't matter to them if you have one. Now again, legitimate breeders are not gonna sell you just one unless you already have one at home because sugar gliders are incredibly social. They're nocturnal. I've seen firsthand what can happen to sugar gliders who live by themselves. Yes, they may be able to survive, but they're not gonna thrive. So anyone who's willing to sell you just one is either a backyard breeder or just not a very ethical breeder. If you have a breeder who is willing to sell you babies who are under eight weeks old, or who says, oh yeah, they're you know six weeks old, but I'll send them home with formula, that's a big no-no, and it's probably backyard breeding. Again, legitimate breeders who care about their animals are not gonna do that. Because sometimes baby sugar gliders do need to be fed formula, but it is never ideal, and they would not, legitimate breeders will not send a buyer 
home with a glider who is not eating on its own. So that's a big red flag. One other thing that you'll often find in dealing with backyard breeders is they don't offer any breeder support. So what I mean by this is, as soon as you pick up the animal, they're done. They're not gonna help you with anything. They're not going to help you with diet, with cage, anything. And it may not seem like a big deal. Sure, people buy puppies all the time and they may not talk to the breeder again. But you have to remember sugar gliders are exotic. Most people are not familiar with their dietary needs, with their cage needs, all these different things. And you want to find a breeder who can offer that breeder support. And if they don't offer any of that, once the sugar glider leaves them, then they're probably a backyard breeder or just not a very ethical breeder. So I hope these things were helpful just to help you identify good breeders from not good breeders. Unfortunately, there are a lot of bad breeders out there. It's like that with every species. Sugar gliders are no exception. But I hope this can help you a little bit. If it was helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe icon and you will be notified next time we do a video. Thanks.